Hi, my name is Claude Gonzalez. I'm the science coach for Clark County, and I'm here to show you a really neat experiment that you can have fun with with your children. This experiment uses just things that you'll, you can find around the house, and it's very versatile. It'll go for uh, pre-K kids as well as high school kids. The only difference is the type of questions you ask them. It's an acid-based reaction. The acid is something with a low pH, and you combine it with an, a base, something with a high pH. The result is water and a salt, and in this case, a gas. This experiment shows the three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gas. We have solid baking soda, liquid um, uh, distilled vinegar, and we're going to produce carbon dioxide gas in our balloon. It also deals with heat transfer. This is an endothermic reaction. Uh, heat from your hand goes into uh, the reaction to help spur it along. That's why when you grab a hold of this thing, it'll be ice cold. So, let's have some fun. What you need are distilled vinegar. Um, actually, any kind of vinegar we'll use, we'll, we'll go for, but distilled vinegar is A, cheap, and B, it's pure. Second is baking soda. Third is a bottle. A plain old plastic bottle will do. Make sure it has a small mouth though. It'll make it easier to put the balloon on. Next is a balloon. And finally, a funnel. This will save you a lot of hassles getting the baking soda into the balloon. Our first step is to stop everything and talk to your kid. Ask them about what's going on here. What, is, what do we use baking soda for? What do we use vinegar for? How can we help, how can uh, these things help us out in the household? Next, take your vinegar and pour an inch or two into the bottom of the bottle. One of the ways that you can go and make this for a slightly older uh, group of kids is to have them measure out exact amounts and try the experiment differently with different amounts of acid and base. Next, we take a couple of tablespoons of baking soda, take the funnel, put the balloon on the end of the funnel, and we are going to shake the baking soda into the balloon. Make sure your funnel and your balloon are dry. Any moisture will cause the baking soda to clump. The next step I suggest the adults do, or older kids, and that is to put the lip of the balloon on the top of, on the top of your um, bottle. Try not to get any of the baking soda into the, into the bottle at this time. Next, you stop. You want your kids to go and make a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an idea that can be tested. What you want your child to do is say, what do you think is going to happen? You're taking a solid and you're mixing it with a liquid. What's going to happen to this, to this mixture? Now, let's have some fun. Have your child hold the, balloon, uh, hold the bottle with one hand and the balloon with the other. Then slowly tip the baking soda into the bottle. Here's your acid-base reaction. Now, as they hold the bottle, they'll feel it getting cold. That's the heat moving from their hands into the reaction. This reaction will keep on going <laughs> for quite some time. Finally, talk to your kid about what happened and ask them, how can we adjust the variables in this experiment? What ha would happen if we add more baking soda or less vinegar or change the vinegar to uh, lemon juice? Any form of acids and bases work with here. But try to stay clear of cleaners. You do not want to mix Clorox with lye. Encourage your kids' curiosity. It will serve them well, both in school and in life. Have fun with your experiment.